Hi guys, this is Ibrahim Khalil from my channel IK Sub BD. Hope doing well. In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect SQL database in ASP.NET C Sharp. Let's go to start. As usual, I create a project named SQL database. Uh, in my previous tutorial, I already show you how to create a project. Here I want to show you how to connect database sql database in asp.net c sharp with web config so here i am going to click web config and here i am going to write connection string for time being i just copy from my created one so i just paste here and i describe you about all the function here is the name which one you want to give any name as you select and here is the connection string is equal to data source and here is the data source i'm show, going to show you file connect and here is the data source i mean server name and initial catalog test db i mean here test db database name and here is the user id and password here user id if you want to give essay and password which one your password here i have no user id and password i am using windows authentic authentic mode so that's why blank user id and blank password and integrated security is equal to true and provided name sql dot data dot sql client now i'm going to add a class because i want to show you database connect with a class i'm going to select class and giving a name i just giving a name cls cls main if you want you give any name so here you are attempting to add a special file type class to an ASP.NET website in general to use this type of item in your site you should place it in the app code folder so do you want to place the file in the app code yes okay guys here you see the app code folder and already created class cls main and now i'm going to write code cls main main First of all, delete this one and here I am add to namespace using system then dot data and another one is system dot data and SQL client. So here I am taking to three variable and here is the variable for time being as usual I am just copy paste and here is the public string connection cn string I am giving the variable name cn string and another one is public sql connection zbl con is equal to new sql connection and another one is public sql command zbl sql cmd is equal to new sql command and now i am going to add a form new item wave form here i am giving to name form so add a form here i just take a label i just giving name is hello world okay guys <coughs> here you see hello world now i'm going to code mode and here i am writing for database connection here also i am going to copy paste i'm just copy paste cls main sbl cls is equal to new cls main and as cls main cm is equal to new cls main here i am going to call the cls main and now 
I'm going to write code in load event phase load event for connect, connection string. So I'm going to here paste SBCLS CN string. Here is the CN string, and here system dot wave dot configuration dot wave configuration manager dot connection string. Then PPL CN string, which one we give here the name, and then dot connection string, and here also we call SBCLS dot CBL icon dot connection string is equal to SBCL dot CN string. So now let's go to run for check. Okay, guys, here you see hello world, the form is run. But how we understand the database is connected? So let's go to add another one. I just here. I'm going to add a grid view and here also you know and I will show you how to show data from database in grid view so for grid view I just create going to class for a global class and here is the connection global class I declare here data table ZBL data table name here is the name if you want you give any name then ZBL icon this is also this one and here is the connection string close if null and then connection string open SQL adapter for data reader to grid view and SQL data adapter is equal to ZBL query for grid this one and this one is the connection string Fill ZBL ADP dot fill ZBL DT and connection close return ZBL DT. For this one, I need to load some query in phase load and here I am going to copy paste. In load event, I just call the grid in view, but there is no method. So I am going to write grid view method and this one is grid view method and now no error here I just <coughs> write in bw in grid method select all from employee and then grid view one dot data source is equal to SPCL data table query and this one is the SBL data table so let's go to run our project what will happen okay guys you see the data from employee info from database so this is confirmed then database is connected and here you see in this tutorial how to connect database SQL database in C sharp ASP.NET C sharp and how to connect data from <coughs> database in grid view for grid view I just create a class in class CLS main class and in form I just writing a method and call this one is page load even if pushback then run this one So guys, here I will show you, here I showed you web config database, how to connect database using web config, how to database connect with class and how to connect data in grid view from SQL database. Guys, if you like this video, please like, share and comments. If you do not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel. Bye for now.